Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, you're all checking out. This is why jealousy destroys good deaths. Mufti Mek. Guys, if any of you know Mufti Mek, he's someone that talks from facts and wisdom. Like, I feel he's a very, very wise man. And if I'm be honest, he's one of the best Islam teachers I personally know. Because I feel he's teaching help a lot of people. You can be a Muslim, you can be a Christian, you can be an atheist, and you still still gets the message so guys let's get straight into this and the quran was revealed in a certain order it's called the order of revelation first surah was which surah which surah al-alaq right iqra and so on there were shorter surahs in makkah and whatever so it's interesting to know the quran in that particular order especially for those who are not muslim or those who are weak at times if you start off that way, it might answer questions that you may have had. Because when the Quran was revealed, the disbelievers at the time who mostly accepted Islam after a certain time, they knew it for that order. May Allah grant us goodness. So, why is it so important for us? Why is it so important for us? To send blessings and salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When Allah chooses, Allah chooses something and when you acknowledge the favor that Allah has bestowed upon another, you have acknowledged Allah. They say, إِنَّ الْحَسَدَ يَأْكُلُ الْحَسَنَاتِ كَمَا تَأْكُلُ النَّارُ الْحَطَبِ That is a hadith. It's a statement of the Prophet. Jealousy will eat away at your good deeds in the same way that fire would consume a dry log. Hmm. Hmm. Why does jealousy consume your good deeds? Say for example, someone suddenly became a millionaire. I'm giving you a worldly example, right? Let's say he earned his money through halal means. I'm not going to talk about haram means, right? Halal means you became a millionaire. What do people say? People fall into a few categories. Some people won't know, okay? Other people will say, wow, mashallah, you did so well. Alhamdulillah, may Allah bless you. Allah grant you goodness. And deep down they'll say, may Allah give me too. I also need a million, right? Is that a bad thing? It's not a bad thing. I'm happy for you. I thank Allah for you. And I say, oh Allah, give me some of this, you know, some of something similar to this. So even more maybe. Pray, there's no harm. When it comes to money, we are quick to pray. Very fast, money. MashaAllah. And another category are those who will say, he's doing drugs. I'm sure they're selling something funny. These people are evading tax. These people are this. That's why they're making so much. You know what? This business of theirs is just a cover. Have you ever heard that? Wallahi, if you don't have pure evidence in that regard, you're a loser. That's why you're saying that. You're a loser. How could you say that? Say Alhamdulillah, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, La Quwwata Illa Billah. May Allah bless them with more. Why do you want to become a person whom whenever you see someone having good and you have to think negative? No, they're doing something hanky-panky. SubhanAllah, no chance. That's not true. That's not true. Be happy. When you are happy with what Allah has bestowed others, Allah was the one who gave them initially. So it's part of worshipping Allah. To protect yourself from jealousy. I'm not jealous. I'm not burning within. I will acknowledge, mashallah, Allah has favored you. When the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was chosen by Allah. You were not chosen. I was not chosen to be a prophet or a messenger. But we were chosen to be followers. Followers of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Whenever I hear his name, I must appreciate the favor of Allah upon you and I. I'm appreciating it. Oh Allah, you made me a follower of the greatest of creation. You accepted me. You allowed me to worship you alone and to follow this great messenger. The message that he brought is filled with goodness. The Ten Commandments, amazing. The Prophet Muhammad not only reconfirmed them, but the Prophet Muhammad came with pure, upright teachings. Your entire life is governed by rules and regulations that will liberate you in the true sense. Hmm. Guys, 
it wouldn't be honest with ourselves. Like I feel jealousy is actually a very very bad thing to do. Because I I honestly believe that in this life, when you see something better than you, it's better for you to like congratulate them and like ask for guidance and teachings than for you to feel this kind of. Mm, he 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 did it through devious means to get to where he is. But I feel if even though you feel like that, that is absolutely not your business. I feel your business is about you focusing on how you're gonna get yourself to your, to the next level, not you worrying about how he got his money or how he managed to marry that beautiful lady. Like your business is supposed to be how you're gonna help yourself. Because I feel if you focus on, on your soul, you're gonna improve your lifestyle and other people are gonna be looking at you like, how did he do this? Like I feel I came to the point in my life where I was just so interested in me. Like, I just wanted to see me win. I just wanted to see me happy. I just wanted to do things to make me feel good. And it was actually the best place. And I'm still in that process. And I believe I will make it. Like, I'll make it. And I must make it. But guys, anyone you think about this video, don't forget to like, just go to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.